Hello and welcome to this course on marketing automation. In this course, we're going to cover how to increase your sales by leveraging automation workflows. This course is divided into three modules. Module one is an overview of automation concepts and tools. Module two covers common automation workflows and campaigns. And module three teaches you how to build your first workflow from scratch. By the time this course is over, you'll know how to effectively use your marketing automation for your business. So without further ado, let's dive into the first module. Okay guys, welcome to module one. In this module, our expert will give us an overview of automation concepts and tools. So get ready to take some notes and let's jump right in. All right, so for starters, what is marketing automation? Well, the textbook definition sounds something like this. It's a process where technology is used to automate several repetitive tasks that are undertaken on a regular basis in a marketing campaign. Now, that's true, but today, when people refer to automation in online marketing, they're usually referring to specifically workflows that use smart logic to take action based on how prospects behave or other parameters. So basically, marketing automation today means using technology to dynamically adapt the experience of your prospects or your leads or your customers after their initial reaction with your business based on either their actions or other attributes about them. So for example, once a lead opts into an email list, you can customize subsequent marketing messages sent to them based on their location or maybe based on answers that they filled out on a form or based on whether or not they've opened certain emails, clicked certain links, visited certain pages, and so on and so forth. In fact, you can even dig down so deep that you tailor your marketing messages based on how long they watched a video before leaving the video. That's how in-depth this whole concept of marketing automation has gotten these days. Does that kind of make sense? So we're going to go more in depth into the types of automation workflows that you can create later on. There's a whole bunch of them, but first let's familiarize ourselves with the various tools that you can use to leverage marketing automation in your business. So the first two that we're going to look at are email specific. They, they mostly center around email automation, which is probably the vast majority of marketing automation that happens today. Uh, it's going to be drip and get response. So drip is a very cool, slightly newer email uh, marketing platform. And what we're looking at right here are basically templates for their workflows. You can get really, really into the weeds and take all sorts of specific actions based on how they're behaving and how they're responding to your marketing campaigns. And the marketing automation is probably one of the more powerful features of drip. It's sort of one of the things that they focused on when they first came into existence uh, not too long ago. And as you can see right here, there's a little diagram of the uh, marketing automation and workflows that you can create. And m the one thing that all of these tools have in common is that they're all drag and drop these days. There's no programming involved or anything like that. It's all drag and drop uh, the creation of automation workflows uh, very easily. Anybody can do it, even if you have very low uh, tech skills. Uh, the next one is going to be get response. Now get response has been around a whole lot longer. Uh, when it was first created, it was uh, basically meant to be an automation and a newsletter broadcasting platform for email. But they also added marketing automation as a newer feature uh, not too long ago. And it's very similar to Drip. Slightly less functionality. It's almost completely 100% email based, whereas Drip does overlap into other things like uh, adding people to custom Facebook audiences and integration with other uh, applications as well, uh, whereas GetResponse is almost entirely focused just on the actual emails, uh, the, the meat and potatoes of email marketing, and, and almost nothing else. Uh, still a very good platform, though, for uh, automating your email marketing. One of the common themes that you're going to see here as you go through GetResponse is the question of tagging and scoring. Okay, So as people act a certain way, as they behave a certain way, in response to your emails, you're basically going to uh, track that or the software is going to track that and it's going to assign scores, right? So a certain amount of points 
uh, are going to be earned every time somebody opens an email, every time somebody clicks on a link, and so on and so forth. And so your contacts are gradually going to actually develop, no kidding, real scores, and those scores can be used to trigger other actions down the road. So for example, somebody doesn't open an email after like 20 days, uh, there's still no email opens happening, right? And so their score drops to a level where suddenly a trigger uh, comes into play and they're sent into what's called a win back sequence where you start sending uh, specific subject lines that are designed to acknowledge that they're not opening your emails and trying to get them to open those emails and engage with you in some way shape or form before eventually if the score gets low enough booting them from your list okay for the sake of list hygiene and that's just an example of what you can do with scoring you get the idea though it's it's very very in-depth and there's a whole lot of things that you can do now drip and get response were just two of many uh, email marketing automation platforms that there are. Now let's have a look at one of the all-in-one platforms out there. This is getting to be a more uh, common theme these days, the all-in-one concept instead of the best-in-class concept. It's a different philosophy, and there's no right or wrong about it. Akartra is one of the more high-visibility all-in-one platforms, and basically what that means is it's not just automating your marketing messages, it's also including all of your other stuff as well. So the landing pages, the opt-in pages, the sales pages, the checkout carts, the payment processing, uh, the building of sales funnels, all that good stuff, plus all of the stuff that we just talked about on the email side of things as well. Uh, and even uh, memberships, okay, so product delivery, all of that sort of contained in one thing, and as you can see, it's designed to work together quite well within the platform, right? So lead capture page, somebody opts in here, a lead is created, uh, they have a, a tag added to that lead, which is just prospect, and then they're subscribed to a campaign, and then they're sent to a sales page, and after they check out, then they are untagged as prospect and then they're tagged as a customer because now they've purchased something and you can send emails based on that behavior and then later on if they purchase an upsell then they are tagged as a repeat customer and then they're sent to the product delivery the membership and uh, you get the idea just on and on it goes so many things that you can do with tagging uh, scoring as was the case in get response and basically just adapting the entire experience from their perspective based on uh, their behavior and the action that they take now Kartra we called all-in-one because it includes both the front end customer facing you know lead capture and sales pages and funnel aspect of things plus the email automation side of things and the drip and get response platforms were mostly email related with maybe a couple other things woven in there but the true all-encompassing marketing automation platform is going to be autopilot autopilot has got its hands in so many different bowls it is not a funnel builder okay it does not attempt to be like Kartra or like click funnels it doesn't handle the customer facing front end pages okay but it does so much more than just email marketing the email marketing and the marketing automation software and autopilot reaches into Facebook ad pixels it reaches into uh, using Twilio for SMS messaging it reaches into all sorts of other tools like Trello and slack and so on and so forth there's no end to the things that you can do inside of autopilot it connects with uh, pipe drive is one example here it connects with uh, all sorts of other things. You've got your Facebook here. You've got Typeform there. There's, there's so many different things that it connects with. And because of that, you can do multifaceted automation workflows that reach in all sorts of different directions and through all sorts of different channels. Uh, one example would be the sending of actual physical postcards. That's another thing that you can automate via autopilot. Uh, not many platforms can say that. And so for that reason, Autopilot is what we're going to be using as we go through the uh, next couple modules. We look at the types of marketing automation workflows and campaigns that you can create, different templates, different styles, uh, as well as uh, finally creating our own campaign from scratch. We're going to be doing all that inside of Autopilot. 
whichever platform you end up using, most of the functionality that you're trying to achieve, especially on the email automation side, is going to be mostly the same. It's all click, drag, and drop. Some of the terminology will be a little bit different, but it'll be mostly the same. So don't feel pressured to only use autopilot. That's what we're going to be using, though, because of how expansive it is. Hi, Abram Kutsier here, and a warm welcome to my channel. I value your precious time and my wish for you is that you have found something of real value in this video that will help you to close more leads and to scale your business beyond your dreams. If you have found value in this video, make sure to like, subscribe and turn on the notification. We will upload one module every week. I quickly want to introduce you to a brand new way to hack your social media profiles to generate unlimited free traffic for your business. It doesn't require any special skills and it doesn't involve running complicated ads. In fact, what I'm about to show you is probably the easiest, fastest and most beginner friendly way to grow your business with social media today. And I'm willing to bet you didn't even know it existed. The hidden traffic on Facebook. Have you ever been scrolling around on Facebook when a post like or comment catches your eye? And then for whatever reason you decide to click to view that person's profile page. If you've done that before, you're not alone. I do this all the time. I'll see a post or comment or like that catches my eye and I can't help but click to their profile page to see who that person is and what they're about. Let's be honest, we all know you on social media. Have you ever wondered how often this is happening to you? How many people are clicking to view your profile daily? Let's do an experiment where we treat your Facebook profile like a landing page. We'll add buttons, links, and call to actions to your products and services in all the right places and watch the magic happen. It will shock you how quickly you get results. You'll immediately tap into a consistent stream of free leads for your business just by making a few simple tweaks to your Facebook profile. And if your profile isn't set up and optimized to capture those potential customers, you're missing out big time. In this blueprint, I'm going to show you how to completely transform your Facebook profile into a lead machine that brings you new customers 24 seven. The link will be in the description below this video. I hope I will see you on the other side. Take care. Take action. Goodbye.